What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name's Michael Roman. I was actually in the middle of working on an awesome video for you that I'll obviously debut tonight or tomorrow. But in the meantime, I've seen this rumor picking up a lot of steam and I want to address it here at the channel because that's, well, what we do. The rumor that Black Widow could actually head to Disney Plus. And while I see a lot of people's points of view and it would make sense considering it could be a lot longer for the theaters to open up than other things to return to normal, it just doesn't make sense for a movie of this big a budget and for the first solo female-led Avengers franchise film. We're going to break it all down. There's a lot of reasons here people are going to want this, but there's a lot of reasons for Black Widow and Marvel Studios. It just doesn't make sense, and I'm going to go ahead and weigh in on my opinion and break it all down. But first, if you could, grab the subscribe button. We're giving away two PlayStation 4 Pros, as well as a whole slew of other Marvel-related stuff, including a limited edition Infinity Saga box set. If you want to be entered to win, all you have to do, hit the subscribe button, then hit the notification bell, leave a like and a comment on this video, and if you want, stick around at the end of the video, we'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there. So first things first, let's go ahead and separate fact from fiction because so many of these reports seem unwilling to do so. The only fact that we have is that yesterday, Marvel finally pulled officially Black Widow from its originally slated release between April 24th and May 1st, well, because it had to. All the theaters are closed and indefinitely, and it was the right thing to do. Then started all the fiction, and we traced down every single story here this morning, trying to find at least one glimmer of anything, the semblance of an industry insider or the normal quote-unquote anonymous sources we resource here as news at the channel, and there wasn't a single one to be found. Really, all the buzz surrounding Black Widow headed to Disney Plus is either fan conjecture or predicated on the announcement by NBC Universal just two days ago that they would go ahead and release some of their box office releases directly to streaming. But you have to understand the difference between a major Marvel motion picture, how much they stand to make from that budget, what the film cost to make in the first place, and some NBC Universal movies that probably were not tracking anywhere close to the box office for Black Widow, or at least what they expect to make on this film and now I'm just going to come out and say it there's a reason there hasn't been quote unquote much of a marketing budget for Black Widow it's because it's going to make a billion dollars regardless Captain Marvel made a billion dollars and this is one of the core Avengers from the Infinity Saga there's not a way in the world that if you're even a semi fan and you saw Avengers Endgame you're not going to see this movie I truly believe that's why Marvel Studios didn't pour a ton into the budget they didn't need to and people are still going to see this when everything quote unquote returns to normal it doesn't matter if Black Widow is released at the end of May or the beginning of October, it's still the same film, the fan base is still there, and really, we've waited this long. This was the point I made yesterday during the official announcement that it was being pulled. Then you also have to think about the money, and I don't mean to get too meta on you guys, as the business side of this is about as far away from actual Marvel Cinematic Universe theory as you can get, but earnings reports for this second quarter for a lot of companies, including Disney Worldwide, are going to be a complete wipe. What better way to come back from that in Q3 or Q4 than a Another billion dollar release and what's probably tracking to be the highest grossing film of this year when you add to it the box office prowess of having another billion dollar franchise what it means for a company like Disney that's losing money hand over fist it just makes a lot more sense to hold on to it and release it in a theater rather than run it out to Disney Plus because it's a one-time thing if you go ahead and release it on Disney Plus people who have already seen it probably won't go see it in the theater the cats out of the bag and once you've done that you can't recruit those numbers at the box office. More likely the case, the argument that I just made means Disney's going to hold it in the long term. Plus, and as I've already said, is there a single one of us that isn't going to go in October that was going to go in May, but it's like, oh, nope, that's it. It didn't come out this spring. We're not going to see it. Absolutely not. If anything, it just drives the hype further. Now, the only counter argument I've seen to this is that because these movies stack sequentially and we've drawn the through line now pretty strongly between Black Widow and Falcon and the Winter Soldier, one that we didn't even think would be there, but is very obviously now a through plot point and narrative that's going to connect these two, it's going to throw everything else off. But hey, they have plenty of room built in. And now, even though these are sequentially, there were months off, we may just get a straight Marvel bonanza where Black Widow comes out right before Falcon and the Winter Soldier leading right into the Eternals and there's really no downtime between the TV shows and the film it's just 360 days of Marvel and for a fan 
that feels like he's had a year off since Spider-Man Far From Home was released, I'm certainly ready for it. Guys, let me know what you think in the comments down below on all of this. Do you agree with me that they're going to hold Black Widow for a theatrical release? Again, that's my opinion, but let me say this now. I will be totally shocked if, if things haven't returned to some normalcy, this movie isn't just moved to a theatrical release in June or July with plenty of time to put out the Falcon and the Winter Soldier sometime after that way before the Eternals are released. There are a ton of down months still left in this year. Putting it on Disney Plus just seems like it would be short-sighted. Let me know all your thoughts down in the comments below, guys, and quickly, let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. We're still giving away two PlayStation 4 Pros, the next of which is at the 650,000 subscriber mark. We're headlong into that, could easily hit that by this month's end or next. All you have to do to be entered to win, hit the subscribe button, then hit the notification bell with notifications turned on, leave a like and a comment on this video, and that'll automatically automatically enter you to win all the rest of the prizes here at the channel like the limited edition Infinity Saga box set. We gave the first one away on New Year's Eve. Eve will be giving the second one away on the second anniversary of the channel in the end of April. If you want to be entered to win either of the PlayStations, the limited edition Infinity Saga box set, or any of the other prizes we're giving away here at the channel as we double down hopefully all the way to a million over the next couple of years, all the same rules will always apply. Hit the subscribe button, then hit the notification bell with notifications turned on, leave a like and a comment on this video and because it's truly random the more videos you like and comment on the better chance you have of winning all winners will be announced at the end of video and if you've missed any of the past winners especially real recently no worries all you have to do is scroll back through the channel look for the winner announcement in the sub count in the title click on that video and scroll to the end my name is michael roman this is everything always guys thanks so much for checking out the channel and stick around we'll be posting again real real soon